Hello everyone, my name is Web Weaver and welcome back to World of Horror. Alright. We're playing some we're playing some worlds of horror. Once again, I am asking you to click that like and subscribe button. I've said that on occasion, but your first you know, your first 30 second call to action, YouTube, small YouTuber Bible, etc. etc. We're gonna we're gonna play we're gonna play a little Miku. We're gonna play a little Miku. And then we are gonna do You know what? Let's do Miku Knight Errant Timeline A. I'm not gonna do a Thutu, that's a little much, but we'll also do I think Goizo is pretty hard for Miku early because Miku has a really bad early game. So you change like 9% Doom to like 15% Doom. But we could also do... Ithutu is also pretty bad. And Kathak Otarasu can be like devastating if you get a bad early game fight. So we'll probably like... I don't want to make it like too insane, but we'll, we'll do... I mean we did Ithutu the other day, so we'll do Goizo. Because I do think Goizo can be the difference between winning and losing. Like, that choice may have lost us the game right there, but it's Dexterity, second enemy, Light Source, Takashi, Dexterity, wait, Charisma, sorry, Dexterity, Charisma, Sign and Nurgle, Dexterity, little arrow pointing towards a heart, Charisma, 100% of the time. So, we basically have the, the bottom two. And no second mystery, just second enemy, Light Source and Takashi. So we need to put one point in Charisma, and then we don't have to worry about it unless we get something like Hunger, in which case... Or Hunger, or like a sewing kit, in which case we would want to prioritize... Whatchamacallit, the... We might want to get Leadership at some point. And the Kanafa Ritual is just bad, we're not even going to bother with that. Although that could be... If you were looking to creatively solve your problems, that could be a solution. Now we're gonna get the money real quick. Unfortunately, we can't wear the best outfit, but that's okay. But we'll just go with the uh, the occult, why not? Now we need to decide, is it worth looking for Moriko? I mean, the first mystery that we do is gonna be eels. So, I suppose there's like a minuscule chance that we look for... There might be like a small chance that we get Outdoorsman if the other two perks that we have an opportunity to get are just absolute trash. Because, I mean, you, you do want to run the... Like, you want to run the, the Forest Mystery as probably as soon as possible. And we'll go ahead and sell the library notes. Cause I, I do I do like me a monkey wrench. I think it's definitely up there for weapons. I think it's probably like I think the monkey wrench might legitimately be so strong, even with its downside, that it's probably like I it's definitely better than the heavy bonk. And I know that's sacrilegious, but you know, it's I mean it's just like it's five damage at 80 speed. Like the chance to hit is awful, but you know, if you're playing Ico, you can guarantee two light attacks, which is, you know, that's that's 10 damage just right out of the gate. So, you know, for the heavy bonk, you know, you can guarantee like eight damage if you've got a high knowledge stat. It's just, it, it's a very strong, like both the monkey wrench and the heavy bonk are probably like the most usable weapons out of all of the weapons. Like, how do I put it? The most of the weapons in the game aren't very good. Let's ju let's just be one hundred percent real. Most of the weapons are not very good. You know, you you've got your. I w I would probably off the top of my head like taking out the special weapons that you can't get all the time. I would probably say like monkey wrench, heavy duty flashlight, steak knife, and small candle. Those are probably like the the first things that come to mind when we're talking about like weapons that are very useful to like your win chance i think the scalpel and okay this is i i think we should be able to do something here i, I think we should be able to make something happen like it's uh 
A 70-70? It's not bad. Now, I think we're probably gonna do a guaranteed 60. Or actually, no, we can do a, yeah, a guaranteed 60, guaranteed 60. We win these, and by that I mean we don't. Uh, we've taken quite a quite a bit of damage here. But I'm trying to think, like, is there any reason not just to guaranteed kill him? I don't think so. Like, we're going down to... We, we're going down to 7 strength, or 7 stamina, I should say. Is not the best, but at the same time, you want to level up as quickly as possible, and you gotta leverage the health that you have at some point. Although we are gonna... Like, losing stamina is not that big of a deal. And if that's the worst thing that happens to us in the early game, then that's perfectly fine. Now, I used to really like lighting the candles, but I'm gonna be honest with you. There's only, like, one bad outcome with picking up the book, and that's the, um, whatchamacallit. I mean, that's a great outcome right there. But there's a, uh, a book that's, like, completely worthless. You know, it's like deal 8 damage to a plant enemy, or random effect when you cast a spell. So, it's not, like, most of the books are just great, and when you get a library book, that's 10 EXP. And when you get library notes, that's, uh, I mean, you can sell any of them for plus one fun, so I think that, just generally speaking, 20 EXP for, like, minus three, four reason? Not great. Not worth it. Now, we are a little bit concerned about this overall, but it should be fine. So it was riots and not roads closed. So we're pretty much like overwhelmingly encouraged to go to Vigil or Freaky Feature of Found Footage. We'll go to Freaky Feature of Found Footage because I think we're probably more likely to take quick thinking than we are outdoorsmen. Because like, we're, like if we go to Violent Vigil, we're probably gonna get a quick thinking proc, you know what I mean? But if we go to the forest, are we gonna get an outdoorsman proc? Probably, but you don't really know. Mansion is doomed, by the way. That, I actually think this is a certified don't do the side quest moment. Cause like we could get like absolutely destroyed in the mansion. There's a lot of like cadavers, dangerous fights. You don't like, a doomed mansion is something you don't wanna opt into. Um, so here's the thing. We are more likely to... <laughs> we have four decks and three perception. We gotta choose, do you wanna take stamina or do you wanna take reason? We're gonna take stamina. Like, if we rolled a natural one, that would be fantastic, but you know, who, who cares? So I really don't wanna go into the forest with four, six. I think that's devastating, so we're gonna... Like, when I said earlier, like, is either, you know, it, it's 9% doom to 15% doom. I, I said what I said. It's kind of rough out here. I mean, obviously, we should just enter the scary portal. And then roll a natural one. Actually, what, what, do, you, what do you think would be better? Like... It's a strength check to get into the to to get into the castle, right? Middle. So the the one on the right is like four funds. The one in the middle is plus one knowledge, and the one on the left is the best item in the game, or one of the best weapons in the game. So I'm trying to think like does plus one knowledge like plus one knowledge would be fantastic, but and we are more likely to get it because we have five strength versus four perception. But I feel like, I mean, we're gonna get, like, minus to the dice roll. Like, we gotta roll a natural one, like, either way, right? Like, maybe we could roll a two if we ventured further into the desert. Well, no, we, we, could, we could do, like, a three or a four, I'm pretty sure. Because I don't know if the game has updated our stats for the stat checks yet. So it could be like, oh, if you roll a five, you know, that's, that's a failure. Like, I don't think it... Like, here's the thing. The only reason it matters is if we get a katana, we win every combat forever. And I, I, I think you just gotta go with it. Like, you hate to do it, 
Like, I, I wish you could go with the other ones, right? Like, I wish you could more realistically take knowledge or more realistically take funds, but getting the katana is just such, like, an overwhelming advantage in every aspect of the game that you kind of just don't really care that much about anything else. You just want to use the, the katana because you'll... You just win the game at that point, right? It's it's a very strange experience. I mean, honestly, the luck check is genuinely our best bet, but I think we'll just ignore it because I don't want to... The, the luck check is minus stamina if you fail it, so we'll just take... Now listen, we opted into minus two reason here. That's okay. Minus two reason, the podcast with Joey and Webb on on uh, Mondays. Ha ha. Maybe we should have taken Doom there, but I'm I'm fine with the minus stamina. That's very lucky. Love to see that. So listen, we failed him. We're not gonna. I've talked about it a lot, but we're not about to go into. Like think of it this way: seven percent Doom if you don't get ending A because of Knight Errant. In order to get ending A in the forest, you have to spend 4% doom and 3 funds. No, just it's, it's, it's completely unreasonable in, in almost every circumstance. It's completely, like, it's unworkable. Because here's the thing, you go to the hardware store, and guess what? There's no can of acid, so you know what you have to do? You have to refresh the store, and you have to hope that it gets the can of acid. And then you've spent 7% doom pre preventing 7% doom. And there's a chance, there's no guarantee that you'll get the can of acid. Like, we've had situations where we go there and we have to refresh the store like two or three times. And it gives us literally the same items every single time. And we never get the can of acid. It's not worth it. And so you just kind of have to like, it, it, it. Uh, the, that's one of the weird things about Knight Errant, is that sometimes you just lose the game if the the dice are kind of against you to some extent. Now, here's the thing. Arms is free. Violent Vigil is not worth it to do ending A either, because you fight an enemy who has like 40 plus health and he does like 2 doom damage per hit. And you also have to give up some of the, like, greatest advantages. Like, you have to give up, like, probably about, like, 20 EXP and maybe minus 3 Doom. Right? Like, it's just kind of better. Like, if you get the cut down the plant, then it's probably better to just go with uh, soaked in blood. Or, sorry, death cheated, I should say. It's better to go with death cheated because you'll get 4% Doom in total more i like i think the exp kind of balances out because the horrible old man gives you exp for killing him but i think it's just kind of better to like not fight him like i like fighting the two easiest fights in the game by the way i completely forgot what the second enemy was that's gonna be a problem like we we can oh wait what do you mean apartment stalker and then we haven't fought anything up until that point is, is that for real? You've defeated the apartment stalker? Scanning, scanning. I, I am I am scanning. Have we not, like, have we literally not fought anything? We literally haven't. So, next enemy? R remember the next enemy? That'll be on the test. Um. So... And this is, this is actually easy. Just two items to discard and we're good. So we're going to take 7% more Doom. And we don't have roads closed, so let's get it out of the way now. And hopefully, if we get some burn grimoires or baths, no time for it. You know, you, you get a little minus 3 Doom here, a little minus 3 Doom there. It's not so bad, is it? Okay, I forgot the thing's Doom. That's right. You know what? This might be... Like, you might think I'm crazy here. This might be the inspiring novel floor, because we're gonna get hurt here. Like, we're, we're not gonna have a good time. What are our, what are our spells? Cauterize? Cauterize. Okay, we'll, we'll just use Cauterize here. Should probably be fine. So let's see. Let's look at the Vigil pamphlet, and then, like, actually decide. 
says feed the plant with blood. We are now going to just ignore... Oh crap, I... Oh no, I got rid of the vigil pamphlet, I can't believe it. I, I thought I clicked the X, but instead I added it to storage. So that's the misplay, okay, that's the... The... That's, that is the misplay of the hour. For those of you who don't know, if you put something in your... If you put the vigil pamphlet in your storage, then what ends up happening is you are no longer able to do any of the actions related to the violent vigil. So we, we really screwed up there. Like, that was a really bad thing that I just did that. I kind of forgot about it because it doesn't come up very often. We're not gonna do, are we really gonna do a 60-60? I mean, it's literally one reason. Like, it's not that big of a deal. Did we take, uh... I thought we were at seven stamina there, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, and there's no storage options either. Well, there it's saying that we can check out the, the supper, which is really weird. But I am under the impression, like we, we stored it, like we, I'm very confused. Maybe it's just through here, but I remember we put it in the storage once, and then we weren't able to... I'm, I'm very confused. <laughs> I'm incredibly confused. Because I, I, I could have sworn, like, no, I vividly remember this. That there was... I, I'm so, I am very confused. I, I'm like 99% sure that there was a point where we... Oh, yeah, see? Right there. You, you can't cut it down. You can't feed the, the blood either. So I, I was I am correct. It, I guess you can still do the first action, but you can't do the second action. So yes, by putting that in our inventory, which we are unable to access in this mystery, the storage, it, it really did kind of screw us over. Because we would have loved to get that minus 3% doom there. Like, that would have been absolutely fantastic. That's 75% chance. It's it, we're, we're completely fine. So, yeah, we're gonna go... Uh, we're, yeah, it's gonna... Doom's gonna shoot up there. Like, we failed him. Chaos, <laughs> Chaos rises, all stats improved. Lamau. So, we do... So, Doomed already is finally here. It's a great... It's a great st it's a great thing to have. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take Doomed already, and then we're going to take a point of Charisma. Now, you might be asking yourself, why not take Leadership and then, like, a useful stat? The reason is Leadership doesn't have a blue option, right? Like, Folklore Studies works in the village. Doomed already is an incredible perk. Leadership is literally plus one Charisma and has no other benefit whatsoever. If it does, I've never seen it in the game, and it's never been important at all. Right, like, you know, th there are some effects in the game that are, like, so incredibly niche that they have literally only showed up, like, once every, like, 300 episodes in this series, right? Like, I'm, I'm trying to think about it. Like, there was, in the entire catalog of episodes, there was only one time we were killed by Aurora Borealis. Only a single time we were killed by Aurora Borealis, which increases the cost of spells by one reason. Because it doesn't work on most spells. It only works on reason spells, I guess. But it doesn't, like... I, that's the only thing I can think of that it... <laughs> that is, like, an extreme niche edge case scenario. Like, apparently Bloated deals reason damage to you, but I've never noticed that ever. Like, there are so many things in this game that are either so extremely niche that you never notice, or they are broken, and they, they don't work. So, you know, like, there are some there are some weapons, apparently, that you can get if you put an event that gives them to you, but they're not implemented. Like, they're in the game. It's just you can't get to them unless you, you know, you, you can't get to them unless... You have a modded event that gives it to you as a reward, which is really weird. Now, are we gonna go to the hospital twice? No. <laughs> I, I take one look at that threat level and I'm like, nah, nah, nah. Get me the hell out of here, dude. Now, I, I'm kind of holding on to some items here 
because I don't know what we're gonna use and what we're not gonna use, right? Like, are we gonna discard the inspiring novel? Or are we gonna discard the weapons? I'm not entirely sure. I think what we're gonna do is because the, the inspiring novel is basically like plus two damage on all attacks. These weapons are essentially due to like the damage variation should always be assumed to do, to do the least amount of damage so that you're never like, oh my God, if this, this has to do four damage or we're gonna die, right? Because you never want to put yourself in a situation like that because it might do three damage, you don't know. So you should just assume that both of these things do three damage when you throw them. And so this is plus two damage on every attack until the end of a mystery. So I feel like if we need to discard two items, it should probably be the weapons. So if you wanted to take like a, a radical step that locks your decision in, you use both of these books and then you almost get Librarian, Lamau. Well, you have to discard to get Librarian, but you know what I mean. One more book and we would have been, if we kept, if we kept the Occult Diary from earlier, that would have been a Librarian gaming moment. But of course, in order to get the inspiring novel, I'm pretty sure you have to get Librarian to, in the first place. So, you know, it is what it is. Thank God the apartments are safe, by the way. Maybe we should have done the inspiring novel on the next mystery? But I'm not entirely convinced because the next mystery is easier. I mean, these are both short mysteries. Like, you don't want to use the inspiring novel on either of them. So, I mean, that's, that's not good enough. Just straight up, unfortunately. But we're close. But here's the thing, is we don't want to throw the weapon because we need to discard two items. And you might be wondering, are you, if you don't go to the hospital, are you going to get ending A on this? Yes, because ending A in this mystery is literally... Can we do that? No, we can't. So where... <laughs> Literally, okay, hold on, hold on. We, we can do this, just a little RNG is required. A little RNG is required. No problem. There, when you're on timeline, when you're on timeline B, the only ending that you can get on this mystery, Abnormal Arms, is ending B. When you're on timeline A, the only ending you can get is ending A for Abnormal Arms. The difference is, like, do you find the guy in the vent, or do you fight the boss in the vent, right? And if you fight the boss, that's ending B, and if you find the guy in the vent, that's ending A. And that's entirely dependent on your timeline. So, the difference between doing the side quest and not is 15 EXP and the tiny key only on timeline A, or on timeline B, just 15 EXP. You don't get the tiny key either way. So like right here, if we did the, the hospital, let's say the tiny key fell down and you took it. No, but we don't, we don't need the tiny key. It's not worth going to the dangerous hospital twice. Now that is a contaminated water proc, so that's kind of a bummer. Now we only fought like one thing. By the way, I didn't remember what my second enemy was. Probably should have, but it was in Violent Vigil, hilariously enough, so... What was the first thing that we fought in Violent Vigil? Whole Ridden Thing? Whole Ridden Thing is our second enemy. It won't matter, by the way. But, and here we're just gonna discard both items because like we, we locked this decision in. So here it is. Uh, I'm calling the put, no, do, huh? We'll research because it's reason. And, I mean, honestly, we, t we take these. We, we take cauterizes for free. It is Stockchon. She would have given us an item to discard, but instead, like, getting an item to throw is perfectly fine, too. So I'm trying to think, like, does it matter? Oh, man, if only we had one more point of strength. 9% doom off Lamau. Uh, well, yeah, we'll just, we'll just do it this way. 80% chance to hit feel pretty good about that. Then we can do three 80% chances. It's a little sketchy, but we have two charges on the what's it in case we miss. So I'm not entirely worried about it. So we can just go here and then 
take that. We did get holes. Actually, no, we got paranoia. That actually does matter. <laughs> we need to get quick thinking here. Or, alternatively, I'll, I'll raise you adrenaline and plus one dexterity. Thank you very much. Now, we can't die here, but a cadaver would hurt a lot. We, like, listen, when you see that book event, unless you're going for... When, when you see that burn the book event, unless you're going for a librarian achievement, where you need to discard three books in a single run, you just burn that 100% of the time. This is a nasty enemy, by the way. I'm almost tempted to run, but we won't. We, we fight these. We do indeed fight these. And I mean, this is just like... Combat has gotten absurd at this point. But that's okay. Now, you don't love to see that, because that's 12. But hold on. We, we, we can do these. This enemy doesn't cancel your actions, so it's all fine. One more investigation after this, and we are good to go. Is this safe or dangerous? Like, I don't... I honestly don't remember. I think it'll probably be low. But it doesn't matter. We rolled a natural 12 anyways. What did we get? Para paranoia again, huh? Thanks, buddy. I really appreciate it. I, I mean, I'm not happy. Maybe we should have gone to the, the monument. I don't think it'll... It doesn't really matter. 79% is more than enough to beat the game with. And even... I, I don't... Like, I'm pretty sure it's whole-ridden things. But we are gonna take... Man, I'm bummed out about how Dexterity's the first check. And we got Paranoia times two. Like, that's... <laughs> like, we're gonna rest once to get to... I mean, I guess we don't have to rest once because it'll go up to, like, 80-plus percent Doom by the time we get to Charisma, especially through Takashi. And we don't have a light source, so we're gonna take minus three. Uh, reason? That's perfectly fine. Yeah, there, there's not really... So let, let me break it down for you, okay? We're gonna take minus three stamina and go down to one. We're gonna say whole ridden thing, and our our actions here do not matter at all. Uh, we're gonna proceed through the darkness, minus three reason. We're gonna absolutely destroy Takashi, probably in a single turn. And then we are going to pass the charisma check, and then we're gonna win the game. So, unless we have something that'll get us killed in the lighthouse, which we don't. Wait, hold on. Chance of losing reason each time you lose stamina. Uh, no, it doesn't matter. Chaos rises. All stats improve. Yeah, it has to be whole ridden thing. Because these two are later on in the mystery. This is a bizarre one. This is a really bizarre one where we fight an enemy really early on and then just never fight another enemy through until the mid game. It's crazy. Nothing, nothing personnel, kid. Uh, nothing personnel, Mr. Takashi. You loot one extra fund. And then, without, a hes without hesitation, Miku throws the monkey wrench at the mirrors, shattering it into a million pieces. And then she exclaims loudly, I'm glad no one lives under the lighthouse. And then moths start fluttering around... And then the screams of the damned can be heard, and she's like, ah, shit, here we go again. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Web Weaver. Hope you're all staying safe out there. Have a good one. I'll see you on the next episode, or whatever else you decide to watch next. Uh, bye.